So today is Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. So today, I'm going to take you. I've set, set off really early this morning and I've drove to Whitby and I'm going to take you to where Dracula was first brought over from Transylvania and, and his coffin and the soil and his ashes and bones or, or corpse or whatever it is was brought here and this is where he was first laid to rest. I'm going to take you to a sacred graveyard. Sun and take on Johnny and the Day at the Priestfield Stadium. Now, will it be a Halloween show for Phil Parkinson or will he give, you know, Johnny and the frights? So here we have it. I'm going to take it out. The sacred graveyard. I won't go in the sacred graveyard, as you can see. Now, somewhere in here, Dracula's remains were first buried or brought or hidden somewhere in the back. I won't go there because I'm trespassing. That will be trespassing if I go over there at a little, little fence there, but I have, I have footage of the real Dracula at the end of the video. He's being caught and we'll, we'll see that later on. So there we have it, that there. Could that, could that be where he was buried? Where his first, his remains were first buried? See it there, that, is that there? Could that be it, that there? Could that be where Dracula was first buried? He hasn't been spotted for years but I have found some footage of them as you walk around this deserted graveyard. What, what is that? That's, ah, look at that. Right in the middle of the graveyard. I'm quickly going to get out of here. I'm sure I saw something back there and I'm going to make a hasty journey. We're going to go to the other end of these woods. It's a bit like the Blair Witch Project. There's some strange going-ons over here. I've came out away from that graveyard. There was something following us in there, but I have no idea what the hell. Where am I at now? What is even down here? What the hell is this? Wow, what is this? Look at this. Weird, spooky. Is this from all the way from Transylvania as well? Transylvanian pine that gives Dracula the least of life, apart from people's blood, obviously. But I need to find my way out of here. I'm completely lost. I've no idea where I'm going. The place for David Attenborough. Definitely of the Blair Witch Project. Some kind of spooky goings on around here. I tell you what it is. my way out. It is absolutely blowing a gale. It's chucking it down. What a horrible day it is today. Hopefully Sunderland can kick up a storm at the Priestfield Stadium. Seriously, I really am lost. How the hell am I going to get out of here? Ah, oh, you bugger. Straight in the face. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Never going to make it back in time for the live stream at three o'clock. Oh, it's one o'clock. It's even less time. Shit. Let's get back quickly, nettles everywhere, Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, just cut my eye open. Shit. I said before, I thought I saw something back in that, back in that graves. What's that? Ah! Fuck! Ah! Fuck, get off this man! somewhere, I don't know what it is, say something, something for us, Frank. Oh! Ah! What the fuck got me neck? Ah! Whoa! Good afternoon everybody, my squad prediction for today, Gillingham nil, Sunderland 1, Charlie White with a goal, let's hope not going to be, let's hope it's not going to be a Halloween horror show, I'm with the lads. <laughs> afternoon everyone, 
It's going to be just a bit of the son, Gillingham nil, son of Mon, Charlie White. I'll let him in, lad. Uh, Liam Jones, what do you think this score's going to be today? Uh, I think it's going to be 2-1 to Sunderland. And who's going to be the goal scorers? Luke O'Neill and Charlie White. Right. And can I quickly shout someone else? Yeah. Um, I would like to shout out um, Alfie... Oh, I can't remember. Alfie, Alfie, my new friend on PS4. Um, he's, he's actually he's a really nice boy and everything. And he's actually being really nice. So, yeah. Thank right, you. Thank you, Jonas. Right, bye. Bye. Here we go, so it's finished. Gillingham nil, Sunderland two. And we made really hard work of that. In the first half, Gillingham had the wind, you know, towards the Sunderland goal, so they played really well. First 20 minutes of it was all Gillingham, and then Sunderland started to control the game. Scowen got a free kick, ball in the box, Luke going nine, a brilliant, delicate header in the bottom corner. And what did the linesman do? He ruled it off for a free kick push or offside. It was an absolute Halloween horror show. It was uh, from the officials. The officials were all over the place, sixes and sevens. It went in at half time, nil nil. I mean, let's face it. Let's have a look at this. This is what the team used today. That was the team. We had Bergen goal. McLaughlin, Wright and Flanagan in defence. <clears throat> went 3-4, three, 3-4-3. Four, three, four, three. We had all nine, school led bit of Hume, and then Gooch, Wyke, and O'Brien up front. <clears throat> now, at half time, we should be 4 0. No, I mean, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not joking. We should be 4 0 up. School missed two absolutely glorious chances to win the match to make us in the lead at half time, but we couldn't take it. Second half came out. <clears throat> it was all Gillingham. Gillingham dominated the second half into the wind. They played really well. They defended really well. You know, they got some balls in the box. And then, after about 65 minutes, Flanagan, flappy Flanagan, just harassed their, their striker and brought him down. It was a penalty to Gillingham. And I thought, no, 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 no. We should be 4-0 up. Jasper Carrot, the referee, disallowed the goal because the linesman said, we should be 4-0 up. <clears throat> But there was the Gillingham player, ball on the penalty spot to take the penalty. It was a poor penalty. Birds dives the right way, an easy save, but any penalty save is a good save. And we saved the day, Birds saved the day. He dived the right way, saved the day. If Gillingham had scored then, we would never have gotten any points for me. But then... We started to play a bit of football. We came forward, we were bombing forward. But then Julian got a break. Came down, Luke O'Neill got the ball outside our penalty box. And their players scythed Luke O'Neill down, two foot of challenge. Nothing but a red card. The referee, Jasper Carrot, hadn't a clue. He had to wait for the linesman to say it was a disgusting, terrible challenge. It was a Halloween. It was a spooky, disorganized Halloween challenge. And he was sent off red card. And it was all Sunderland. Sunderland against 10 men. What can Phil Parkinson do? Can he bring on the subs? He waited, he waited, he waited. He brought on Danny Graham for O'Brien. O'Brien was terrible today. I have to say, I'm disappointed so much with O'Brien. I think it was so bad that day. But Danny Graham, come on. And then... He decided to bring on Chris Maguire, the King Maguire. And then there's a ball put in the box from Luke nine. Charlie White was fouled. It was this time it was Sunderland's time for a penalty. A penalty. And nobody else but the King Maguire wanted to take it. Chris Maguire put the ball on the spot. The majestic, magic, magnificent, marvellous Maguire put the ball on the spot. He knew it. It was, it was in the stars, it was in the majestic stars, Maguire ball on the spot, 10 minutes to go, puts the ball on the spot, runs up, so cool, calm and collected, places the ball, bottom right hand side, keeper hapless, dives left hand side, 1-0 soon and against 10 men, it has to be a three point win, we have to win all day long, take three points, but Gillingham to their due, Gillingham, what a good outfit, 
and I wish to them all the best. They're a good team, good side, good stadium. They can't afford to play the matches at three o'clock because the lights cost too much electricity. And in COVID times, I understand that. In one o'clock fair dues, I do like Gillingham. I do hope Steve Evans keeps Gillingham in League One under these difficult circumstances. But they were pushing forward. They were caught out. Gooch clean through one on one with the keeper. End of the penalty box. Shot. Keeper made an absolutely fantastic right handed save. But the ball be deflected back in the back of the goal. Gooch scores 2 0 Sunderland. Good night. Good bless. And may your God go with you. Parkinson breathes a massive sigh of relief. Relief because nobody wants Parkinson at the club because his football isn't magnificent. But we've got to win today. Now, three points is good today. It's only good if the teams at the top get beat or draw. So let's hope, you know, at the end of the day, I don't want anybody to get sacked. I don't want any players to be dropped. I want the manager to do his job. You know, Diamond missed the under 23 last night. He missed them. And from the bench today, never got a squeak. But we won 2 0. We take three points. We move on to Ipswich during the week and thank you for watching this video. I have Dracula coming up in a minute. Much appreciated. Enjoy Halloween. You know, it's a, it is it is an American American thing, Halloween. But England are coming in to you know, coming to the light. And I'm moving house on Monday. Touch wood, no lockdown Monday. I'm moving house on Monday and all this is gone. It's all gone. You know, it, it's four years living out in the wildness. I'm moving back to where I actually enjoy, I like, two miles from work. So please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Thanks for watching. <coughs> <coughs> I'm moving so long as I don't get COVID. Touch wood. Enjoy, stay safe. Look after yourselves. Take care of the elderly. The elderly people have lived their whole life. They've provided for this country. It's us now. We need to take care of the elderly. Look after your parents. Look after your grandparents. And stay safe. Thanks for watching the video. Look after yourself. This is a ghost in my house. A ghost in your memories. A ghost of the love you took from me. But our love used to be. All the shadows of the past I've seen. See no waste on the vision of your scary face. There's a ghost in my house, and I can't get over you. There's a ghost in my house. There's a ghost in my house. There's a ghost in my house. It keeps on scaring me, and it keeps on haunting me. In my mind, your love is gone. Memories of happy times When I loved my ones was blind There's a spirit in this room And it's scaring me with the gloom There's a ghost in my house 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 And it's scaring me And it keeps on haunting me There's a ghost in my brain